Now we're told to think positively, but what can that actually achieve? Joining me in the Harvey Norman Lounge, stress mastery coach and international public speaker, Annie Wilson. Good morning to you. Good morning, Mel. We are told uh, to think positive all the time, but what exactly is positive thinking? Um, so in its simplest form, obviously, it is thinking about a positive event in the future, um, but um, I like to think of it more in a scientific basis. Um, so you can think of it possibly in a law of attraction point of view where you're raising your energy in order to attract the magnetism of that event but um, because I'm a neuro whiz by trade I like to think that you know positive thinking is is pretty much just all about creating synaptic uh, processes across the brain um, but adding emotions into it so that you're using more of the brain in order to get that outcome. So, so is there actual scientific proof of the power of positive thinking? Yes, and it's more about the happier that you are, um, the differences in brain scans, for instance. So if you take a, um, a spect brain scan of somebody who is constantly positive and thinking in a happy way or somebody who is depressed, okay. what you'll actually find is that whole regions of the brain start getting excited uh, when you're thinking um, in a positive way. So that's what we're looking at there on screen? Yeah, absolutely. So you'll find that where somebody who is constantly in their fear response or in their mammalian brain, areas of the brain actually shut down, causing a certain real tunnel vision. What's not mammalian being... brain? Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the more that we think in a negative way, mm. we uh, strengthen an area of the brain that is our limbic system, which is where our fear response comes from. It's where our worry becomes uh, really paramount. So the more that you do a certain emotion, such as negative emotion, depression, upset, anger, mm -hmm. you strengthen the limbic brain, which is the mammalian brain. Outside of that, we have our cortex, which is where other other emotions are actually primed so and that's where we have our clear thinking our creative thinking and so we want to actually strengthen that area of the brain Wow okay that's fan it's fascinating it's so scientific I had no idea that the power of positive thinking was so scientific mm. uh, what is your advice then for people who might find it a bit difficult to stay positive so there's a number of things that we can do and uh, the simplest thing is that in our faces, we actually have more muscles than anywhere else in our body, 43 to be precise, and many of those are primed to kickstart the creation of our feel-good hormones, such as our serotonin, oxytocin, and dopamine. Mm -hmm. Sorry to get so scientific. I'm so excited I love about it when this. get scientific. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the more that we smile, the more that we engage these receptors in our brain to create the feel-good hormones. So you can fake it till you make it. You can just smile more often. And um, other things that I take my clients through, for instance, is the art of visualization, mm -hmm. um, and also getting outside and exercising because if we look at a brain scan again, I know, more brain scans, <laughs> but under this brain scan you'll actually see that if you sit quietly, certain areas of the brain just become a little bit dormant, but after 20 minutes of walking, for instance, right. you are engaging more areas of the brain and we are starting to really strengthen whole brain activity, which is where exactly we want to go. And so one of the fundamental things that we can do really quickly is what is known as a senses meditation. And it is six minutes in the morning, sitting there quietly, shutting yourself off, just breathing and going through your five senses, mm -hmm. which are um, bringing to mind a taste that really invokes a beautiful feeling within you. So for me, it's, I imagine my mum's old dessert, and I sit with it for 30 seconds and really feel the emotions of eating her dessert. Then you move into hearing. So for me, it's my um, children's laughter, <laughs> and really sitting in that. And so you go through all the different senses and bring to mind something that makes you smile for each one of those senses. So that's touch. Uh, sight, um, so you're thinking about a, a vision. And if you do that just for six minutes every morning, it actually primes you and changes your entire vibration and your entire emotional energy for the entire day. Wow, I love that. So, so why does it actually matter? Ah, so um, science does what science does best, and it, and it proves that uh, happier people have a higher life satisfaction score. So well, that makes sense, doesn't it? It, it seems does. To make sense. It does. And if you look at what I've just told you about how the brain works. Um, the happier you are, the more primed you are to making clearer decisions rather than going into a fear-based decision. We also are more risk takers rather than risk avoiders. Um, but here's a fact that you might not know, and that is that when somebody laughs, we're more attracted to them. So if you are <laughs> looking for your romantic partner, everyone, um, 
just laugh more. Wow. And you'll be more attractive to the opposite sex. I love that. I absolutely go. love it. Arnie, that has been an absolute pleasure having you in here. So <laughs> smile at people too because they'll smile back and it'll make them feel good, make you feel good as well. Thank you so much. You're welcome.